Hi guys, it's Jenny Belly, welcome. Today I'm gonna to answer a question that I get asked quite a lot. It's for a new feature that I'm gonna be putting on my newsletter called Ask Jenny Belly, because I do get asked more questions every month than what I can physically answer. I mean, I do try, um, but if you're sending me messages via Facebook and things like that, I'm just not able to get to everybody's questions. So I'm going to put it in my newsletter. So today I'm going to be answering the question, how do I find my style? I'm going to be giving you practical information here as to how to find your style. And in the future, any questions I'm going to be answering are going to be kept within the newsletters. So if you are a newsletter subscriber, just hit reply to one of my newsletters and let me know what it is you most want to know, what is it you want to ask me. And um, if you're not a member, then there's a link below. Um, when I put this on YouTube, you can find it below to sign up to my newsletter and you can get some free goodies, such as exclusive videos, my creative role ebook, which I'm very proud of, and also some art things to put in your art collages and, and stuff like this. Lots of lovely freebies for you. Okay, so when I'm asked about how do I find my style, I really think people are asking the wrong question. In a sense, I feel like they're putting the cart before the horse. And why that is, is I feel like the question needs to be changed from how do I find my style to why do I create. So I'm going to give you practical steps which will ultimately lead you to finding your style. And the first one is to take this question to your journal. So number one step is why do I create? Take that to your journal write, collage, doodle, paint, whatever it is you want to do to bring up all the reasons that you create. The second step is to sit with the journal page once you've done it and to figure out within that information what is the fundamental feeling to why you create. For instance, some of the reasons why you create in your journal could be that it makes you happy. It could be that it gives you a place to escape from day-to-day -day life. It could also be that you want to improve your art skills. So there's three reasons, but they could equal the fundamental feeling for you of fulfillment. Whereas for other people, it could mean a fundamental feeling of um, growth, of expansion. So the fundamental feeling as to why we create can be different for every single person, even if the reasons that you find in that journal page are the same, the fundamental feeling of it can be different. And that fundamental feeling is your truest essence as to why you, you are a creator. Then the third step is to bring this fundamental feeling into every single session that you create. So it could be a big collaborative art project that you're working on, or it can be sitting there doodling in front of the telly after a hard day's work trying to just unwind. How can you bring that fundamental feeling, your biggest why, into every single time you create? And here's a hint here, a very simple way of doing it is just to write your fundamental feeling on a post-it, on an index card, create a piece of art about it and stick it up somewhere. So your art room, or if it's at the kitchen table, doesn't matter, stick it up somewhere where you can connect to that every time you come to create. And then the fourth step is to stick with your why. So anytime you feel the itch to revisit the question, how do I find my style? Remember all the work you've already done switching that question and finding your why. And this is where you will find your style because you drawing on your most fundamental feelings to why you create will organically make your style evolve. But you'll have way more fun finding it than simply sitting there and logically trying to answer the question, how do I find my style? Asking that question is a left brain question, whereas in practicality, how you find your style is through a right brain practice. How do I find my style is a restrictive question. It comes more from an inner critic who puts value over product rather than the process. It's coming from a place that doesn't acknowledge that you already have everything within you that you need to find your style. It's looking for answers out here rather than finding them in here why do I create is an expansive question. It's a never-ending question and it's an ever-changing question that will evolve with you as you change and evolve. There's this big 
misconception around the question how do I find my style that one day when you've created something you're going to go ah oh, that's it I'm done now forever that's my style and that's just absolutely not true we as human beings evolve are you the same person if you're 50 are you the same person at 40 as you were at 20 I'm certainly not the same person at 30 that I was at 20 no way no shape no how um, it doesn't mean I don't have the same values doesn't mean I don't love the same people um, or attract the same sort of people into my life or have the same hobbies and interests and, and all of that kind of stuff it just means I'm a more evolved person um, and thank God I'm not 20 again thank God I know everything that I do at 30 rather than at 20 but my journey isn't ending here I know I'm going to keep evolving and changing because that's the nature of us and it's the nature of us as creative beings as well as human beings so if you stick with your why as that changes and evolves so will your style just think about all of the creative projects you've ever done and you may have this same misconception about um, projects because I still fall into this trap where I think if I just finish that project it'll all be good I'll, I'll you know I'll, I can relax when I finish that project I'll feel like I've got to where I want to be it's absolutely not true when you get to, when you finish that project haven't you got another project that you want to do another 50 projects that you want to do we don't stop and we don't stop changing so our style will naturally change as well even if you get somewhere where you feel like it feels more you um, and you say, yeah, this is my style. There are a few artists that I can, I can think of that um, you can recognize as a style and they think that they've got their style, but you revisit them in five years time, it will not be exactly the same. Their style will have evolved. You might still recognize their stuff five years ago. It doesn't mean that it will be the same because if we just produce the same art again and again and again and again and again for me for the rest of my life that would be boring I don't want to do that I want to see what else there is for me that is the nature of us as creative beings so that is my answer to the question how do I find my style if you really want to find your style then do it in this practical way that I've um, explained to you where you ignore that question and you get on with the thing that will make you find your style which is using your right brain creative self because that's got a lot more knowledge about this question than what your left brain logical analytical side does that is asking the question so I hope you have enjoyed my answer to this question and if you want more of these answers then they're going to be in my newsletter from now on um, hit reply to ask me a question and if you are not in the newsletter sign up it is below and you will get lovely goodies for signing up much love everybody have an awesome day if you're not already, come join me on my art community, journalworkshops.ning.com to connect with other artists, to ask questions, share ideas, share your artwork, get inspired by others' artwork, join in our monthly challenges, our other groups, our other classes, and just to connect with like-minded, beautiful, creative people like yourself. Much love, everybody. Bye-bye.